right. How many people in here know about std exchange? Many of you, you're a C++ experts. How many people have used std exchange recently? All right, so std exchange is a little thing that got added in C++14. And uh, if, but if you're still on 11, you can easily drop it in your own code base. It looks like this. Of course, I added the const expert and the no except stuff. You probably can't use const expert if you're on 11, but. And uh, it's very simple. It does something very similar to swap, as you can see, except it does less work than swap for when you actually need exchange and uh, you don't need swap. You don't need all the power of swap. So how many of you have code that roughly looks something like this? You've got some asynchronous subsystem. Uh, it, it periodically ticks, and maybe you've registered some callbacks, and it wants to go through those callbacks and call them. Uh, but because there's some reentrancy stuff, and your clients like, you don't want to impose things on your clients, you want to use a swap and iterate idiom, right? So your code might look something like this. If your code bases look like mine, I'm guessing some of you have seen code like this, yes? <coughs> and by the way, Tony has a whole talk about this. Um, well, we don't need swap here. There's a simple substitution we can make. We just use std exchange. We exchange callbacks with the empty vector, and we just iterate it. We save the move, we save the variable. So that's kind of pattern one. You might have something of that pattern. Another thing you might do is, you know, post something to another thread in a lambda. <coughs> it starts out looking like this. You can see the swap, and then the move into the lambda. Again, it just becomes a std exchange in the init capture of the lambda. Again, you save move and a variable, the result of exchange RVOs into the lambda capture. Well, that's great, Ben, you say, but you know, what about thread safety? My code looks like this. I have to take stuff out of the callbacks because I have to put underneath a lock because anyone can add stuff to it. And so how are you gonna do that? Well, I say, no problem. We do this. So take a look at what's happening here. There's a lock guard. It lives till the semicolon. There's a comma operator. Exchange RVOs into your vector, or whatever. I think this is very nice. <laughs> However, what are the rules of C++? Number one, don't pay for what you don't use. Number two, Vector is always the right choice, right? Except in this case, as I discovered, because what does vector imply? It implies iteration. And therefore, it was the wrong choice for this example, as Tony pointed out. Because you don't actually want to lock in a loop. But as a pattern, as a refactoring as a whole, this thread safe swap and iterate idiom, I think you should start using it. It's more efficient, exchange is better than swap, you save a move, you don't get the declaration initialization split, it's less code, it's an idiom. Thank you very much. <laughs>